good morning to all the viewers. Today we are going to look at statistics, that's the number game. Now when, when it comes to statistics, a lot of people are averse or they are kind of afraid of uh, numbers or mathematics and they feel that I cannot do it because it's quite complex, involves a lot of formulae and numbers which are very difficult to understand. But let me tell you one thing, in today's world, with a lot of research going on in the biological sciences and in the medical field, it's quite important for all of us to understand the basic concepts of statistics in order to understand the findings which are published in journal articles or in books. So uh, let's begin with something basic that is the meaning of the word statistics. Statistics in simple terms is a science of figures or numbers. And where do we get these numbers from? We get these numbers from making measurements or making observations on individual human beings or study subjects. When we talk about lab research, we also have observations to be made on animals or on experiments which are set up. So when we look at statistics, it involves techniques or methods of collection, sorting out, analysis of the collected piece of information, transforming this information into what we call as data and using this data to make inferences. Now, this appears to be very complicated, but I'll explain to you in simple terms. In the 19th century, Sir John Sinclair was the person to coin this term statistics, which he put in simple words as useful piece of information for the state. He was the person who made a series of calculations to make us aware of the term we know today as the cost of living. Now, when we talk of statistics, we have two different varieties. They are not actually different. They are related to each other. The first one, this term which we come very um, come across very often is descriptive statistics. When we talk about descriptive statistics, it involves mostly collection, sorting and analysis of the collected data and presentation in the form of graphs or tables. The next aspect is inferential statistics. As the word suggests, we try to infer or make conclusions from the presented data and we try to apply it to the population from which this data is collected. So inferential statistics is uh, about making conclusions and interpretations for the population from which the information is collected. Now there's one more terminology which we quite often come across and that's known as biostatistics. Statistics or the tools of statistics which are referred to data derived from biological sciences is considered as biostatistics. So all research in the medical field or the paramedical uh, fields is considered to be analyzed with the help of biostatistics. With reference to epidemiology and public health, we have two other terms which we need to know. One is health statistics. When we talk about health statistics, we look at deaths, number of cases of disease, number of new cases of disease, which can be considered under health statistics. Whereas vital statistics forms another integral part of epidemiology and public health that refers to information about births, deaths, marriages, fertility in specified populations. So that's about statistics. With reference to statistics, I will also inform you about few other statistical terms which are very, very important when we try to look at statistics. The first term is a variable. Now, what is a variable? As the word suggests variable, which involves variation. So variable is a characteristic which varies or differs from one individual to other. Let's take an example. The best example is height. So height of one person definitely differs from height of another person. Now it will have different measurements if you measure it in centimeters or meters or in inches. 
whatever it is whatever unit you use for measurement you have to keep it constant when you are making a measurement now when we talk about a variable we need to look at another terminology which is known as an observation an observation is nothing but an event or a measurement made in one individual and in with that respect we need to know what is an observational unit an observational unit is nothing but the individual or the person in whom an observation is made when we talk about a variable as i said it varies from one person to other but if i tell you that we need to measure heights of 100 students in a class so i will have 100 different measurements all these 100 different measurements refer to one variable that is height but if i collect this piece of information it is for 100 students so all the 100 students taken together form what is known as data so data is nothing but a set of values which is recorded on one or more individuals so in this case height is a variable but height in centimeters measured for 100 students makes it data so to summarize what we have seen today is the meaning of the term statistics as well as certain common statistical terms like variable observation observational unit and data in my next session we will be talking more about types of data so stay tuned and please give your comments and subscribe bye for now bye bye